So you can either start marathon mode or engage in the credits and go to the main menu to start a new game. Difference between these two is if you start marathon mode right after you beat the first game, which is original mode, it will transfer all the NPCs that survived in your first game to the second game and you'll be able to find them randomly throughout the game in different places and areas. And in, I think roughly 23 to 25 NPCs survive in my game I think. Roughly around that number. And if you start a new game it'll just transfer 10 random NPCs from the first game and you'll be able to find them throughout the game. So that's the advantage of starting marathon mode because if you saved a lot of characters then you have more people to fight with you. It'll probably be a little bit easier, but sort of. And what else? Well, I guess that's it, so I guess I'll start marathon mode and I'll put this in a different playlist and I'll add the whole videos and all that stuff. And I guess I'll start right now. Blake being transferred. And that's why I saved right after I beat Whitley because I knew this was going to happen. And that's going to do its little loading screen thing. Yeah, pretty much the sequel happens. Blake goes missing after the plane gets rescued. As you just seen in the ending cutscene. Obviously there's going to be spoilers so if you haven't watched the first game I advise you not to watch this yet or if you don't give a fuck well welcome to the playthrough of this game. And you can also customize your own character. This will be the main character. You can change the appearance and has extra skins and stuff. Huh. McCready, Norwegian, US soldier. What does McCready look like? Hmm, that looks nothing like McCready. He does not have the brown hair or that majestic beard. I'm pretty sure the beard adds 10 points to both survival and luck. Oh well. Probably changed it to the default form. I'll give him captain and change class. You can actually choose what type of class your main character can be. I think I'll have him as a medic probably. Or maybe a... Uh yeah, all these classes can be pretty useful, so... Yeah, I guess Medic, I guess. I might regret that, but... Eh, whatever. Change it to name, I guess I'll change it to my uh, username. Sadonri. Sadonri. There. And you can also choose his voice. Let's see. Male or female. Damn. I need an engineer. Sounds too normal. Damn. I need an engineer. What? Damn. I need an engineer. I have no idea what type of accent that is. Damn, where's an engineer? So either that. I have no idea. Damn it. I need an engineer. That sounds like a very average American. Extra, Blake. I need an engineer. <laughs> I'll just give him the same voice. Damn, I need an engineer. Damn, where's an engineer? I like that for some reason. I'll go over that. He sounds pissed. And that's about it. That'll be my main character. I'll play normal again. Alright, game settings are default. All right. And would you like to enable realistic mode? No. Things enemies are res very resilient to melee gunfire attacks. Play the intro. This is where the spoilers are, so... I warned you. Previously, an alien spacecraft buried in the Antarctic ice is discovered by a company known as Gen Inc. The US Army quickly becomes involved in the project. Liquid samples are found aboard the craft. Research shows the amazing regenerative properties of these samples and work begins on manipulating them. A search and rescue team is later dispatched from Alaska with the intent on recovering mis missing U.S. personnel. 
Head of the team, Captain J.F. Blake, is currently serving as a government agent. Blake has been asked to make a report based on his findings. This report is intended for the resident, or the president. The purpose of the exercise is to highlight and reveal new activity to Congress. It will justify U.S. military budget and scientific efforts in the Arctic region. Unfortunately, the liquid found aboard the alien craft actually turns out to be the alien itself. A strange life form that can imitate other entities. Security failings enable General Whitley to infect himself with the life form in a vain attempt to cure his own cancer, and the viral outbreak quickly spreads. Blake's search and rescue mission soon turns into a horrible nightmare. He loses many men against a combination of abominations and crazy soldiers. With the help of key individuals, Blake is however able to sabotage the alien's plot to reach the mainland and Blake confronts and destroys the Whitley abomination. Blake's last known communication confirms that he boarded a plane sent from Alaska to rescue him. It has been three days and no plane has arrived. Alaska Training Base, March 10th, 1983. It's Rogers. You, you wanted to see me, sir. I am sure you know why you're here. It's about, about Blake, isn't it, sir? General Makalov reports that cleanup operations are going very well. He reports that Blake is responsible for damage to U.S. property. Sir, I thought we discussed. Not to mention the deaths of countless U.S. personnel and Gen Inc. civilians. Still, I cannot deny that his actions were for the greater good in preventing hostiles from reaching the mainland. Makalov's report suggests that a rescue plane went off the radar in a remote area. There is a chance that the aircraft landed safely. How long ago was this? Less than two hours ago, Makalov is preparing a squad for recovery. We should send a team down there concerning what happened to Whitley. General Whitley is considered a loss to the enemy. His actions may not have been his own. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that seeing U.S. soldiers may provoke Blake. We can't be 100% sure of his mental state. What would you suggest, Captain? Well, there is one person who... Are you serious? Sedonary and Blake have a sour history. We need someone familiar to Blake. I will personally lead Sedonary and small Alaskan Rescue Task Force. I don't know what that stands for. All right, Rogers, go and assemble the AART, but I want them to be supported by Makalov's units. Understood, sir. We need the truth about what went on out there. Who's a good dog? Oh, I can name the dog. Crap. No, I'm not going to name the dog crap. I just don't know what to call him. I'll call you dog meat. If that fits. There. I don't know if you get the name from Ferns, but yeah. Dog meat bark. I know it's hard for you to do this, but saved Rogers. It was just a routine operation. Forget about it. What's the details? <coughs> Ugh. It's a very sensitive mission. We need you to recover Captain Blake and any of his surviving allies if possible. It will be your radio support and Makalov has troops on the ground waiting for you. I only need my own men. Whatever the case, they will be there. We need you to leave as soon as possible. Blake's radar signal is over two hours old by now. Okay, my team will be ready in 10 hours. What happened between you and Blake? Try not to let it get in the way. Where's Makalov? The general is attending to other matters. You are Sedonary. Quite a history you have. Hope your skills come in handy out there. Anyway, my name is Foley, sir. My squad will be supporting you in our little rescue and recovery operation. What's the situation? The radar signal is a few hours old now. If the plane crashed or had to make an emergency landing, then it is possible any survivors would have stayed put. Weather looks good, but it can be very unpredictable out there. We need to move to the suspected crash site ASAP, sir. Keys, are you ready? Yes, sir. Squad is ready and awaiting your orders. If you would like to follow me, said Onri. Load out. Myself. Apparently, I went to the Vietnam War with Blake. I have no memory recalling that. I get this loading out my nukes uh, team, Parnham. Yeah, we're going to start completely new. I actually have no idea if this game is going to be 
longer or about the same length as the first game. I think the first game I spent like almost 10 and a half hours. It took me about a month to complete, or a month and a half. Oh yeah, and also I'll be uploading once a week, so be expecting the same schedule for those who stick around. And for those who are new, once a week, remember that. There's something up ahead. Taking point, Captain. Search and rescue. Captain Blake is missing in action. Your task is to recover him. Search the crash site. Experience 40. Huh. Hint, you can view your mission objectives at any time by pressing the Q button on your keyboard. Oh yeah, it changed quite a bit of things from the first game. Kind of feels like you can move faster too. Oh look, that's the same plane that they escaped from. That looks pretty bad. Looks like some dead bodies too. Holy crap. Squad, find out and looking for clues. Swash, chambers spread out. So don't you, we're going to take a look around the area. 10-4. Dizzy, what's the situation? Them trooper boys gone ran off. I wonder why we need them. Keep an eye out for them, will ya? Yes, sir. I can feel a storm coming. Are you okay, Lucy? I think so, Captain. Don't worry about me. You should return to your search. Don't hurt you, right? See anything? Sorry, sir. I'm keeping an eye out. Somehow, I don't see much of a firefight happening here. If you say so, sir. Parnham, I can't find any supplies, sir. To be honest, this doesn't look good at all. Nothing at all. No ammo or nothing. What about the black box? Captain, it's gone. I don't understand. It's gone, Captain. Uh, what black box? I don't know what that is. Most of the flames have died down. The area still feels warm, though. It's pretty recent. Anything, Sean? Nothing here, sir. Name's Brittle. Dog meat. Found anything, dog meat? Aw. Keep looking, boy. There you go. Keys, give me it. Give it to me straight. Situation doesn't look good, sir. The plane looks like this shit, Captain. I doubt anyone walked away from this. What about the low body count? Unsure, sir. It's possible the damage was done after the plane had crashed, but that seems unlikely. Keep an eye out for me, okay? Sure thing. Don't forget that drink when we get back, Captain. Sure. This looks like explosive damage. Hmm. Looks like sabotage. Any survivors? Nope. But the body count seems too low. Something seems out of place here. I just can't figure it out, sir. Keep trying. Blake's body isn't here, but where would he have gone? I wonder where them troopers went. Foley, what's your position? Sadonary, this is Foley. You're not going to believe this. Foley, what is it? There's some kind of mining outpost here. It isn't on the map at all. Have you searched there? Negative, just scouting the perimeter. Wait chambers. What the hell was that? Foley, Foley! We got movement. It's gone into the main building. I'm sending Swash to guide you there. We're waiting back up before we engage. Confirmed. I'm on my way. Over. Alright everyone, it's time to move out. There is a, some kind of outpost nearby. Foley spotted the movement, so let's go. Mercenary. Yes, Doctor, they are here. Orders understood. Following targets, over. Alpha team, take point. Foley, where are you? Sedonary, we have the outer area secure. Someone went to, to the main building. If they run out, we will tag them. Understood, moving out. Alright. Looks like I'm going to get ambushed by those mercenaries. I can't see a damn thing in here. Captain, use your flares. In dark areas, you will need a light to see. To light a flare, press your A. I got a flashlight though, but... I never used a flare at all in the first game, so... Probably switch things up a little bit. This actually lights up the whole area, sort of. It's kind of better than the flashlight, I think. Probably should have used it. It's a little too late for that now, though. 
Got some beer. There's a guy right there. Just take all this stuff before I go talking to him. Empty. Wait. Yep, empty. Got a doctor uniform. Some bandages. This looks like the pilot. Identify yourself. Oh, Jesus, don't shoot. He looks okay. What's your call, boss? What happened with the plane? There was a bright light, then I blacked out, and when I woke up, everyone was gone. Where is Blake? I don't know, I swear. Identify yourself. Private Sanchez, Alaska Skr. You are AART, right? Yeah, where's Blake? I don't know, I swear. Hmm. Team, what do you think? Standard issue US uniform, check it in with the Foley. I agree, I don't recognize him. Right. Oh wait, I already asked him that. Shit. Foley, come in over. Sedonary, are you okay? Yeah, listen, we found someone, a private Sanchez from Alaska. Unsure, maybe he was aboard the rescue plane? We'll have to check it out with Rogers. Captain, if I may. Where's Blake? I don't know. I'll ask you again. Blake's gone. When the plane crashed, all his men split up into groups. What about you? I blacked out in the crash, but when it came out too soon, some of his men had stayed behind to get the last supplies. I went with them to here. We hope we can find a radio. Where are they now, Sanchez? In the mines. You need to be careful, though. They don't seem right to me. Okay, you stay put here. We will go and have a look. Search and rescue. Investigate the mines. I guess I'll save here. Uh, I guess I'll save over my first save, so... There. I didn't check my skills for my new team members. Smart, and that's about it. What about Brittle? He's a backstabber. Unit has a 4% critical bonus. That sounds decent. Keys, the engineer. He has intuition. And he's thick. What? This unit gains 10% less experience than the others. Oh, kind of slow, huh? Soldier Parnham. He's well trained and very senseless. That's a big reduction. Conditioning. Thick. A lot of my team members are pretty dumb for some reason. Spec Ops. This unit has an 8% hit bonus. No surprise from the sniper. Dog meat. Bloodlust. Gives a 10% chance that the dog can act twice. Interesting. Hammonds the pilot has a stun rod. Well, that's pretty cool. You can use magnums too. Alright. Oh yeah. What items do I have anyways? I never even bothered checking. Got a medical journal. I'll give that to uh, myself because I'm greedy. All right, I'm gonna go search the mines now. Foley, where are you? We are moving to your position. What's the situation? A pilot named Sanchez said that some of the Blake's men are hiding out in the mines. My squad is going to check it out. Roger that. We will meet you in the main building when you are finished. His hair looks really gray. Okay, now it darkened a little bit. It's very dark in here. But there is some stuff though. Was that a chair? Yep. Armor piercing rounds. Looks like a crowbar. The very unlucky crowbar. The handgun ammo. I think in these access codes for the first game, I think I only unlocked one. There goes a new voice. 
Got a helmet. There's only one crate in here, though. There's a box. I can see it. I guess I'll give the helmet. Yep, 5% more resistance. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Nothing there. I think I saw a crate in the place where Sanchez was at. Let me open that first before I move on. So it looks like I only have a bunch of handguns and that's about it. I'm very unprepared for what's ahead. Yeah, there's like two crates. No, actually one. And it's on the other side. Got a med kit. Uh, probably should have turned that on earlier. Well, anyways, let's go. I think the mines are around here somewhere. Yep, there goes the tracks. And this place is pretty dark. A little spooky. I got a pickaxe. Uh, looks like there's two guys there. The one on the right really looks like Weldon. I'm pretty sure it's him. It'd be pretty cool if I can get him first since he's like the medic I use for the entire game. That and he has a crap load of SP points. Please help me. It's okay. Follow me. Yep, it's him. Pretty convenient I got him first now. Yeah, I'll eventually run into the other NPCs throughout the story. Uh, that looks like North. Yep. Are you here to help us? It's okay, follow me. Yeah, it looks like I got Bravo Team first. Looks like he's going by order from the order I found him in the first game. So I might be finding an Alpha Team next. Probably. Let's see, there you go. I don't recognize that guy, he's probably a randomly generated NPC or something. Yeah, I don't remember saving anybody with a blue hood like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. I wonder if they have any of the equipment they had from the other game. Nah, they lost their weapons, but... Looks like they kind of kept their armor. Yeah, I got the Dragon Recon Vest. That's pretty good. I'll give the, dr uh, the Dragon Recon Vest best to myself. Probably switch to the Alaskan Jacket too. I'll give the Viper combat armor to Parnam since I'm pretty sure he's the only one with the level 2 armor proficiency for now. There. Are you a rescue team? Thank god. Plane crash. What happened with the plane? Looked like an EMP blast, but I can't be too sure, sir. Blake. Where's Blake? Ran off with some of his men. Could be anywhere by now. Survivors? Is there anyone else here? There were some others, but I don't know if they made it. It's them. We need to go. Now. Alright everyone, let's make our way back outside. Could try to run past that, but 